Erica and Scott, this is a moment of great beauty. It is also a place of great meaning. And nothing can take it away, not even a pandemic. It's a special day for us and our family. It starts out when, when your child is born and you have a great deal of pride. And that day, just every day after that, you're always proud. Today, walking down the aisle with Erica was proud as could be. It was quite a tearjerker, actually, for me and my wife also. She really has been the perfect daughter and sister her entire life. Becoming a Catholic school teacher with a master's degree, shooting the biggest buck on Ferris Road, and now marrying the perfect guy, Erica really has been a tough act to follow as the younger sibling. people in our lives that we grow up with, the people that we're surrounded by as we grow up, they have a, a huge impact on us. And with Scott, he always did things the right way, so I knew that I had this older brother, this role model that I could follow, that I could go through his path and go down that road and know that I was going the right way. Today you say, I do love. I do hope. You are saying that you care for one another, that you believe your future together will be brighter because the other person is there to share it with you. I, Scott, take you, Erica, to be my wife. I, Scott, take you, Erica, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Erica, take you, Scott, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I was first introduced to the Scott character about five years ago when I saw his name pop up on Erica's phone. I read the message asking if they were still on for coffee later that week. Erica soon picked up on what I was doing and promptly said, no, he's, he's just a friend for a group project that we have to finish at school. A couple of months later, I find out Erica's got a Valentine's dinner with this guy. And now, a few more years later, I have a brother. It is now my privilege and honor to present to you Scott and Erica Mogilevsky, husband and wife. Exactly one year ago today, Scott proposed to Erica at the base of a waterfall in Colorado. These two have always looked at each other with nothing but love in their eyes, and they really do perfectly balance each other in a way that you don't see very often. The love this couple shares is so evident, and I wish you nothing but a lifetime of full laughter and love. Over the last couple of years, I've, I've been able to watch Scott and Erica grow up together. And it's just another example that I've had to watch and, and see them grow, see them grow up together, see them build their relationship. It's not so scary when you see Scott and, and how fearless he is and you know Erica. And she's an amazing person and I think I speak for my family. I think I speak for everyone that's not here tonight that we're honored and grateful to have you joining our family.
for everyone that's here. Thank you for joining us. My big brother, my new sister, Mr. and Mrs. Mogilevsky. Cheers.